What is going on guys? My name is Diesel and welcome back to MLB The Show 20 and the Arizona Diamondbacks franchise as the 4-1 Diamondbacks will go up against the 2-2 two two San Francisco Giants. And Madison Bumgarner is going to be looking for a much better outing than he had against the Atlanta Braves. And we all know his former team coming into the desert. Hopefully we'll be able to put something together behind him as uh, the Giants seem to be struggling. They've lost two of their last four games. Kevin Gossman is getting his first start of the season. We're going to go LeCastro in right field, Vargas at second, and Josh Rojas at third to get some guys some rest. Former Diamondback Wilmer Flores is going to go right up to Vargas in the first plate appearance of the game. He will be retired. Madison Bumgarner really wanting to work these counts pretty quickly. But he's been having problems with that early on in the season as this on a 3-1 count is going to go right back up the middle. Sterling Marte is going to grab it and uh, keep that to a single. Hunter Pence now. He's going to take a fastball low. 1-2 count as this is going to be lined into left. David Peralta going to be there to keep that just a single or the runner over on first. Yastrzemski, he's going to strike out swinging. And that's going to end the inning. So no damage done. And the Diamondbacks will get a chance to bat. They will go up against Kevin Gossman, who had a 5.72 ERA last season. Starling Marte going to be leading things off again. He currently has an 0-1 count. And this ball is going to be plastered into a left field as Yaz dives for this. It's going to get down all the way to the fence. Rattle around. Marte running around second base. And he's going to be into third with a leadoff triple. So right off the bat, the Diamondbacks got someone in scoring position. And Christian Walker, he's been batting pretty well. He has no home runs for the Diamondbacks so far this season as he's going to give this one a ride. And Yez cannot get this one as, again, it's going to rattle around down by the Arizona Diamondbacks bullpen. Marte will score and Walker moves up to second. one nothing Diamondbacks. David Peralta, 4-6-7 batting average as he's going to give this one a line shot deep into right field. Pence can't grab it. That's going to be a home run for David Peralta. His second or his third home run, excuse me, of the season and that's going to be a two-run shot. That'll give the Arizona Diamondbacks a 3 to nothing lead early on. Numbers on that one, not, not overly impressive, but this is kind of a hitter's park as well as Brent Crawford up against Madison Bumgarner. A one two count, top two. He's going to line this one out to a center field. Starling Marte is going to be there to put that one away. That'll be the second out of the inning. Now we go Buster Posey, the veteran, on an 0 0 count. He's going to line this one right back lazily on the ground. And that's going to be out number three. So we've we've gone quickly through one and two. Vargas playing second, as we have mentioned earlier. Christian Walker now on an 0-0 count gives this one a ride. 113 mile per hour exit velocity. Not the best fielder. He is doing pretty well when it comes to power and replacing a guy like Paul Goldschmidt. So we're going to be looking for him to continue to show power in any spot in the lineup that we put him. 113 miles per hour exit velocity for 36. That's what we need. Now we go David Peralta, another power guy who's going to put this one back into right field as the third inning will continue. Runner on first, Steven Vogt now 4-1 lead. And Vogt's going to put this one back up the middle. And we're going to have runners on first and second for the Diamondbacks as uh, Longoria has some problems with that one. But we got it. Everyone's good. You know who's not good? Kevin Gossman's not good. He's going to have the pitching coach come out and give him a quick talking to as Vargas is going to hold up on the slider inside. We'll catch up to this one on a 2-2 count. Vargas looks at a fastball right on the inside part of the plate. Not exactly a spot where he enjoys the ball, that's for sure. Top four, Pence versus Baumgartner again as he takes a strike inside. 0-1 count. That's going to go down to Rojas, who's going to flip this over to second and over to Walker. So... Realistically, San Francisco not doing too hot of a job at the plate so far. Yastrzemski, he's going to watch a curveball that should have been a strike, but maybe in an alternative universe. Bumgarner's like, you know what, that's fine. I'll throw again, 2-1 count, and that's going to be a fastball outside, and Yaz can't catch up to that one. Josh Rojas now as we go bottom four. 
He's going to give this one a nice line shot over to the Giants' bullpen as Pence is going to have to corral this one, get it back in. But the Diamondbacks again with a lead-off extra base hit. That's what you love to see. Bumgarner now, he's going to take his at-bat, and this is going to be popped up into left or right field, and Pence is not going to have a play on this ball, but the power's there. We all know the power's there, but here we go. Madison Bumgarner on the 0-1 count is going to pop this one up into center field. That's not going to be enough to move the runner over as this one comes back in quickly to Crawford. Starling Marte now is one for two on a full count, two outs. This ball is going to be popped up into center field, so the Diamondbacks will strand the runner at second. Not too bad start for the Diamondbacks overall. Not a bad start for Madison Bumgarner as he faces Wilmer Flores, who's going to put this one into right field. And like Castro, got 99 speed and some decent fielding as well. He's going to cut that one off and get it back inside. So the Diamondbacks are going to have to worry about Ilmaro Vargas. Uh, covering second because Wilma Flores does has he got some got some speed over there five two thirds innings for Madison Bumgarner three hits four Ks as Slater is going to lazily put this one right past our Gold Glove shortstop not something you want to see very often as it's going to put runners on first and second Hunter Pence now two two count lays off the curveball on the outside part of the plate full count to Pence and that's going to be a fastball that misses down low. So Madison Bumgarner gets himself into some trouble here, top six, but Yaz can't catch up to the fastball at 92 miles an hour. And the next pitch is going to be a cut fastball at 86. He can't even, doesn't even lift his bat, most of that at bat. So we go top seven, Corbin Martin going to come in. Uh, face two, two batters, and he's gotten two Ks. Let's see what he can do here as we go top seven. Evan Longoria is going to get... A nice little change up at 83 miles an hour. He's going to foul that ball away. We got an 0-1 count. Very next pitch. Going to be a curveball on the outside. What can Martin do now to go ahead and put Longoria away? It's going to give him the high heat. And he swings through at 96 miles an hour. It's a big change compared to Madison Bumgarner throwing mid-80s all day. As we got a bit of a pop-up, as Vargas can't really do anything with that. He almost collides with Starling Marte, so they're going to have a runner on first. That'll bring up Buster Posey. A one count. This is going to be lined right over to Rojas. He goes another double play. In total, the Diamondbacks pulled five double plays today, as we've seen about three of them. Juan Lopez here as we go top 8 0 2 count, and this is going to be a hard line shot over to Nick Ahmed. Rob Brantley now at the 9-hole is going to make this one back up the middle. Starling Marte was busy early and often in this one. 0-1 oh, count runner on first. Wilmer Flores back up to Juan Lopez who knocks this one down. And there we go. Two outs, top eight. We're only at 14 pitches as we go 0-2 oh, count now. And that's going to be some more heat as this bullpen looks to regain some trust because we've, we don't have a whole lot of trust at this point, especially Andrew Chafin having some problems early in the games this season. But Lopez is uh, he's regaining a lot of that trust. Here we go. Bottom eight, full count for Christian Walker. See what he can do. He's going to be patient enough to draw the walk on eight pitches. So now we have a runner on first against Garcia for the San Francisco Giants. Now Steven Vogt, catcher, he's going to come in. 0-0 count with one away. Pitch is going to be away from Buster Posey, and that's going to allow Vogt to go up to second base. And uh, not exactly what you want to see if you're San Francisco. So here we go. 1-2 count, and Vogt's going to put this one into right field. Back up against the fence as those fences in right and left field are going to be busy. As uh, There we go. 5 nothing for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Josh Rojas now on a 3-1 count. Runner in scoring position. And he's just going to pop this one up. Unable to get this one deep enough to get another RBI for the Diamondbacks. But 5 nothing as we go into the ninth with one out. And there goes Yaz again. I think he struck out a total of three times today. Juan Lopez has three strikeouts as well. And there we go. Brandon Crawford just going to watch the 96-mile-an-hour fastball go through. Bumgarner gets his first victory in an Arizona Diamondbacks uniform. We're going to go ahead and sim ahead 
uh, through these first couple of games for the Chicago Cubs. And uh, we surprisingly win them. We're going to check on this last game against the Giants. As uh, we did have LeCastro back in left today. Uh, Carson Kelly did some catching. Josh Rojas was playing short. Uh, LeCastro got a double. Uh, also got a triple. Again, that speed is pretty, pretty impressive. As uh, I was just double checking. I saw Kelly on there. I was thinking Merrill Kelly, but no, it was it was the catcher. It was Carson Kelly. He, uh, he went ahead and went yard as Cueto goes 0-2, six innings, gives up three runs, and uh, there we go. Rendon for the Diamondbacks does pretty well. The, the bullpen again, regaining a little bit of confidence. Now we go against a surprising 4-4 four four Chicago Cubs team, uh, able to squeak out one quick victory, a one-run victory, as Escobar goes deep. I wish it would uh, at least tell you when or who scored in what inning. It would make stuff like this a lot easier. Um, but yeah, Souza Jr., Schwarber, those guys all had some hits in this one. Um, Schwarber and Souza Jr., former Diamondback, both go yard. And uh, Souza also got cut stealing. So there we go. Robbie Ray, five and two-thirds innings. He gave up one run, walked two, struck out seven. As we sim the Saturday game, which was a 4-0 shutout as uh, Calhoun goes deep again. Javi Baez, he doesn't get anything. He strikes out once. Um, grounded into a double play. You're going to see Rizzo. Weaver, he gets six in two-thirds innings. He gives up no runs. Walks three. Strikes out five. Martin strikes out two. And Guerrero strikes out three. So, so uh, some quick updates. Uh, Christian Vasquez for the Red Sox. He looks like he's on the 15-day injured list for a fractured leg. I'm sure that's going to be 60 days. The Athletics, they lose their young stud, Jesus Solardo, to a 15-day uh, injured list as well. And I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on some scouting news. Uh, Jason Gomes, relief pitcher, 65 overall, 75 potential. Uh, looks like his ETA is going to be 2021, so that could be something... Uh, that we could be looking at in the upcoming first-year player draft. But our next game, Alex Young. He's 1-0, 1.59 ERA. He's going up against Jose Quintana, who has a 3.0 ERA. It's going to be a day game at Wrigley Field, so that's going to be really exciting. Um, really looking forward to playing that. But Alex Young, he's one of those young pitchers that we were talking about earlier. He's 25 years old, 75 overall, B potential, less than one year service so it should be fun we're going to be able to see some young pitchers in this Arizona Diamondbacks uh, pitching rotation as well as you know some of the guys like Martin that we saw earlier today that are in the bullpen anyway guys that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for some more Arizona Diamondbacks content in the future thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later